Hello everyone, it's uh, Sean from Renegade Parts Watchers. I want to uh, take a minute and make a video on how to set and program. Uh, this is a single channel uh, heat timer. Uh, this is on some of our older Renegade models, but uh, I get a lot of calls on these and just wanted to go through how to set it real quick. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this switch right here in the top left hand corner is in the middle, it's on auto. Second thing you want to do is make sure that this top right hand switch here is in the middle, it's on run. And what you want to do is you want to push this recessed R button here in the middle of the bottom of the timer. And you'll, when you push it, you'll see that your whole uh, screen will light up like that. And then just let it go. And then what this will do is this will erase all the programs inside the timer. It will also erase uh, the time and everything. we we'll have to reset it. It only takes a minute to reset it. But uh, this will make sure there's no rogue programming running around uh, messing up programs that you think it's actually following. So once you do that, you can see the 12s flashing here. Um, very simply, uh, just move this switch in the top right over to the clock. And then what will happen now is you'll see the time here will go solid. Now what can happen is you're allowed to edit your time and your day. You edit the time by using the H and the M buttons. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it for our current time here, which is about 9.50 a.m. And oops, I missed it there, so I'll just go back around, no problem. So come back here to 9.50. You can hold the button, it'll speed through the numbers a little quicker. And I'll get up to 950 here and once we're done there and you got and you want to watch also on the left hand side over here you can see it says AM PM you want to make sure obviously it's on the right uh, time for you at the top of the screen you'll see an arrow underneath number one uh, what happens here is the uh, one represents Monday and the seven represents Sunday so Monday through Sunday uh, where I'm at currently it happens to be Friday so I'm going to go ahead and advance this you just push this one through seven button here it'll advance your day so I'm gonna bring it up to Friday now at this point the timer knows what time it is it knows what day it is you can go ahead and flip this switch here back to run which is the center position and now that will lock your time and uh, lock your day now programming uh, just as easy here just move this top switch on the right over to the P which is the program now as you can see uh, it's saying 1-1 one, one here which means first channel first program this timer here happens to be a single channel so it'll only have uh, one it'll always be a one right here the first program means on the right side here you'll see a light bulb which means it's an on program the on programs uh, this is capable of 16 programs um, 16 on and offs uh, so what this says here is one so it means all the odd numbers are on programs you'll have a one a three a five and so on all have a light bulb and the even number programs, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, will have no light bulb on the right that will indicate an off program. So what we usually do from the factory here is we usually set the heaters to come on at 5 a.m. So I'm just going to push this hour button here until I get to 5 a.m. 5 a.m. And the next thing we'll have to do is, uh, you can see it says a.m. here on the left. Light bulbs on the right. It's an on program set for 5 o'clock a.m. Uh, the arrows underneath number one so at this point right now we're just telling it to come on at 5 a.m. on Monday well this tape this timer is capable if you push the one through seven button you can advance the arrow one two there's Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and if you push it once more it'll do Monday through Friday all in one one program so it'll come on Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. If you continue to push this one through seven button, it'll do other days also. You can see right there is just Saturday and Sunday. You can see right there is Monday through Saturday. And you can once more, it'll go Monday through Sunday. So it'll do seven days a week. If you push it once more past that, it's just going to bring you back to the beginning, which is just Monday. For this example, I'm going to set it for Monday through Friday. So one through five, 5 a.m., light bulb on the right hand side, first channel, first program. Now the way this, this one's done, so we're going to move on to the next program, is you push this P button here in the bottom left, it'll take you to your second program. If you'll notice on the right hand side, there's no light bulb, which means this is an off program. 
and we usually set our timers to go off at 6 p.m. So I'm going to advance this and to get to the p.m.s just scroll through the a.m.s with the hour button here and it'll bring you up to the p.m.s and I'm going to set it to turn off at 6 p.m. no light bulb so it's an off program and I just have to set the day now which right now it's on Monday only I'm going to advance it to Monday through Friday which is right there 1 through 5 so right now it's set to go off you can see there's no light bulb here on the right hand side at 6 p.m. Monday through Friday very simply the next thing you could do to, to save the programs is you could push program it'll take you to your third program which we're not going to use but you're welcome to use if you want to do just a Saturday hours on but make sure whenever you set it on you always always set it off uh, because otherwise the time or the uh, heating element just stay on for indefinitely uh, the next thing you can do is uh, change your run switch here from program back to the center which is run you can see the times locked the programs are locked the times locked it's on run uh, the last thing I want to tell you how to do here is in the top left there's this auto IO what will happen here is um, if you switch it over to the I or the O, and I can't remember which one's which, but we're going to find out. I'll flip it to the I. What that means is it'll turn your channel, it'll turn the timer on all the time and never let it shut off. So what that means is your heater would stay on forever until you come back and you change this switch right here. Well, for this purpose here, for this example, I'm going to switch it back to auto. I'm going to switch it over to the O, which is off and then you notice that the light bulb disappeared on the right hand side here so what that means is now is the heater is off indefinitely until you come back and change the uh, setting on this switch right here so for this example I'm going to flip it back to auto in the middle you can see the uh, light bulbs on which means it should be heating right now and based on the program timers that we did uh, settings that we did it should be on Monday through Friday uh, 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. which now it's almost 10 o'clock a.m. so it should be on uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, you can give us a call at 800-774-7900. Thanks for watching.